our dreamers in this state are part of the fabric of the economic development, they're members of our family, they're part of our communities, and they're human beings. Today, we make that investment in human capital. Several years ago, when we launched on our mission to provide tuition equity for dreamers, New Jerseyans, who only knew New Jersey as their home, but yet when they applied to an in-state institution, were not afforded the in-state rates. What you're hearing in Washington is very opposite of what we're saying. We welcome you. We're proud of you. We're proud of how hard you've worked to get in this position, to be productive citizens in this state, and we don't want you to go to other states, we want you to stay here and make this state even greater. So. Today is the fulfillment of a promise made and the Senate's commitment to make it a promise kept. And when you look at the faces of the young people and the desire to want to be able to get an education and be able to, to have that in, uh, college degree so that they can move on, not only from what they've been able to be receive from their educational level, from an elementary and a, and a high school level, but into their college years. Two days before the start of my senior year, on September 5th, I was sitting in a bus when I learned that in six months, I would no longer have the right to drive, no longer have the right to work, or to live without fear because President Trump ended the DACA program. Although DACA is tied up in courts and I am able to at least for now know that I can drive and work, I have never qualified for most scholarships and for state or federal aid. But we are going to change that. I was inducted into the National Honor Society as a junior and I have submitted the same statistics homework as my classmates, only to learn that we are unequal. It's difficult to understand why I've worked just as hard as my classmates throughout my four years of high school, only to find New Jersey's excellent state and private colleges, colleges and universities out of reach financially. We can't wait for DC to fulfill what a majority of Americans want to see for dreamers like these amazing students. But we do have a real chance with this legislation to jumpstart the map of opportunity right here in New Jersey. S-699 and S-700 are the fulfillment of the entire promise. We are on the verge of a historical milestone. We are really honored to be part of this fight. We've, we've been fighting for the rights of all students here in New Jersey to get access, full access to education for years now. Um, we've litigated to stop discrimination against students whose parents are undocumented. Increasing access to higher education will sig significantly benefit all New Jerseyans, considering the fact that over half of new jobs will soon require a bachelor's degree. These two bills are necessary to ensure long-term strength and sustainability in our state's economy.